Hi, this is Ankur. In this video, we'll discuss about ways how to save money while investing. A couple of years back, SEBI introduced options between regular and direct. Let's explore what are these options. So what is the difference between direct and regular plan? Well, do not get confused that regular plan is a standard plan and a direct plan is directly with the company. Sure, direct plan is when you're directly investing with the company and there is no middle person to facilitate that. However, a regular plan, which I would call a brokerage plan, basically means there are people involved dealing in these plans. So whenever you see the name regular, that means there is a brokerage involved. So these would be in the form of mutual funds and portfolio management schemes. So far, these two categories are covered. The third category, which is alternate investment fund, is still a brokerage link product. So in, in a way, what I'm trying to say is when you invest in AIFs, those are still always in regular format. That is, there is a brokerage which is paid out. So regular plan and mutual fund, these are those plans that have been in existence from the start. So regular plans are always sold by some distributor, broker or your bank because they will not reach out to you for any money. You do not pay anything for that. However, these agents get paid from the product they are selling. So the alignment of interest may not be there. So let's see one example of Parag Parik FlexiCap fund. This is a regular plan. So this is one fund I watch very closely in terms of what they are doing and i like the strategy it's not a recommendation again you have to see your specific situation but this is only for example in this example i want to show how you can save money while investing when i talk about the direct plan of similar nature we will do a comparison so for now this is the trailing return as you can see five year return is close to 20 percent we also see that the expense ratio is 1.79% which is the latest number. So 1.79% is the expense that you pay to the mutual fund house and within this only the payment is made to these agents. So out of this 1.79% only all expenses have to be met by the fund house. Now let's look at the direct plans. Direct plans as the name suggests is directly served by the fund house to the investor or through a registered investment advisor these can be purchased these products do not pay to the agents or to the investor or to ria and that's why the expense ratio is low so parak parek flexi cap fund as the name suggests it's a direct plan as you can see the five year return is 20.9 percent now let's see a comparison of these two as you can see, there is a difference of 1% and pretty much across all these years, that difference stays. And as we continue with direct plans in the future, I think in 2013, these were introduced. So we still do not have the 10 year period, but as we have more and more data, the difference between the return will continue to grow because this difference of 1% also gets a compounding effect. So over a period of say 15 odd years, the difference would not just stay at 1%, it would be wide. As you can see, the expense ratio in case of a direct plan is 0.79%. And what is the difference between direct and regular plan of Parak Parek Flexi Cap Fund? There is no difference other than how it is being served. Under regular plan, it is given by or facilitated by some agent whereas in case of a direct plan there is no agent an advisor is involved or directly the investor is buying from the fund house that is why there is a difference of one percent in case of a regular plan we had 1.79 in case of direct plan we have 0.79 so there is a difference of one percent in case of equity funds you will find that there is a difference of 0.9 to one percent and in case of debt funds depending upon the category of debt there would be a difference of 
around 0.1% to 0.5% depending upon the category. Now let's look at the impact of these differences of regular versus direct on PMS. So first of all, a portfolio management scheme is where the minimum investment is 50 lakh rupees. As you would know that mutual funds do not have that kind of minimum. I think it's 5000 rupees and depending upon the fund it varies, but it's not very high. But in a PMS, it is 50 lakh rupees as per SEBI. So earlier only regular plans were available and these used to be sold by similar as mutual funds by brokers, banks or other distributors. PMS would be providing to the agent and investor would not be paying anything to the agent. Then direct plans were introduced in that an investor can directly purchase it from the PMS company. Product do not pay in this and that's why the expense ratio is low. In case of a PMS, there is a third category also which are called RIA plans. These, as the name suggests, can be purchased only through an RIA. RIA code goes in the purchase and that's why the expense ratio is low. In fact, when we compare across PMS, the expenses are very different. The structures could be very different. Just for example, this is one of the PMS, a fixed management fee structure. Just to let you know, there can be different uh, fee options across all PMS providers. So you need to be careful on that. This is just for example. So it's a fixed management fee structure. As you can see, RIA is the lowest 1.25%. In the middle is direct plan and regular plan is the most expensive one. So an investor directly dealing with the company will land up paying 0.25% more than the RIA. The purpose was to tell you that there are direct plans available across mutual funds and PMS. These have to be explored and understood properly so that you make wise decision in terms of investing in same product, but still it saves money. Oftentimes I get this question that, you know, if we do not know where to invest, what do we do? The logical answer of that would be deal with an RIA, a registered investment advisor. In that case, you get access to direct plans and you get advice on top of it. So in a way, it's a win-win for everyone. As an investor, you win in terms of alignment of interest and low expense ratio. Advisor will be providing you advice and will be getting a fee. A product manufacturer need not spend too much time with the investor and hand holding can be done by the advisor. There is a reason why SEBI is pushing for this model for India market. And in years to come, maybe in the next five to 10 years, we will see more prevalent model, which is on the advisory side. So the purpose of this video was either you self-educate and evaluate direct options and thereby save money, or you deal with an advisor who can handhold you and help you pick the right products and that too save money while picking those products. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.